what is up guys? Welcome back to Life on the Wrist. Hope you guys are doing well today. We mentioned that we got two of these magazines, these Departures magazines, and this is the other one. This is the Departures Fall 2020 edition. This is the home and design um, uh, version of this magazine. Um, obviously, like I said um, in the previous video, if you are new to um, our coverage of the Departures magazine, these magazines focus on um, fashion, lifestyle, travel, and um, home and design is one of that, or is part of some of the things that they cover in these magazines. Um, this magazine itself didn't have a lot of watches in it. Actually, it didn't have any, but what I wanted to do is still give you guys a look at what is actually inside of this magazine, some of the aesthetics that they're coming through with for this fall uh, 2020 issue. I think it's very unique compared to some of the other home and design ones that we've covered. And what I'll do is I'll brainstorm some of the watches that I think would fit with these environments. I think that's a fun way of at least um, connecting watches to this um, this issue of the Departures magazine. So I'll stop um, rambling on about this um, this edition and I will uh, flip the perspective so you can take a look at this magazine. All right, welcome to the fall 2020 ep uh, issue of the Departures magazine. This is the home and design. Um, home and design issue, again, this is an extremely um, not watch focused uh, uh, it, it issue of the departures but they have some really cool uh, designs for for homes and um, that really uh, allows you to be creative with the types of watches you could like pair with these environments and so like already in the front you can see this very fall aesthetic um, you know obviously kind of these orange greeny colors that is reminiscent of things like thanksgiving and pumpkins and those types of things so um, cool cool cover uh, i'll also just quickly show the back cover it's a little bit different. It has this very modern, um, modern looking home. And that's uh, something that is very iconic. Or it's very, um, very uh, prevalent within the Departures magazines. And so as you open up, you get these really interesting couches. Um, this I mentioned in the last one, but this would definitely be like the Tutti Frutti uh, Richard Mille. This is exactly what I would pair with this environment. You got these bright colors. Everything looks like, uh, like, um, like a sweet like sweets uh, and interestingly enough the rugs are actually called tutti frutti i'm only seeing that now but i would definitely uh pair this with uh with something from like the the rm tutti frutti and then like going from something as as you know, loud as that you get something a little bit more understated in this very modern um this very modern uh kind of uh, bland not bland but very um muted colors, black and brown. Um, this is gonna be something um, that's very prevalent. And this is, I, I always think of that, uh, that gray leather strap from Hodinkee when I see these types of environments. I think that is kind of the aesthetic. Um, these are all kind of advertisements, but again, we see this really beautiful landscape with these chairs. Uh, this is a very modern um, setup, very modern setup as well. Um, got some advertisements here. Um, well, what I really was sad about is I couldn't see a watch. I see the rings, but I don't see watches. I guess they don't go to sleep with their watches, so that's probably why. Um, this looks absolutely beautiful. I would want to wear a Rolex Daytona, uh, <laughs> Rolex Daytona with something like that. Um, we'll just continue through here. I really love these types of couches. Um, I really like the color of these couches as well. Um, and, um... Again, this is very reminiscent of that Hodinkee strap that is, is gray, um, really beautiful uh, couch. If I was to pair a watch with this, it would be like a Rolex Mariner on one of those gray straps. Um, it would be a modern version. I actually probably would flip that with it for a deep sea, something a little bit more. Uh, you have to look a little closer to, to figure out what it is. As we kind of continue, again, we've got that really modern aesthetic that I like. Um, I would still go with with something like that Rolex the Submariner. Um, we'll just continue to go through here. This is a really cool little like French inspired kitchen here that I, that I thought was quite interesting. Um, I really like this. And uh, if I was to pair this with something, I think I would prepare this with like a Breguet Type 20 or something like that. Um, I don't know why, it just has that feel to it. Probably the French ins inspiration. <laughs> uh, again, tutti frutti over here. Um, and some more kind of things that you can have in your home. Um, modern aesthetics, modern aesthetics. Kind of coming through here. Um, I don't drink a lot of coffee. I know that, um, 
that I mean, it does make some, some good coffee machines, but um, that's just me. Um, this was an interesting, this was a very interesting um, kind of side because I think this picture here, this gentleman here, this would remind me of something a little bit more classic, like a, like a, a Patek Philippe 570 or like an Automa Piguet um, in platinum. But then this gave me kind of like a fun, I don't, I don't know, this gave me a little bit more like, um, like fun environment. So I'm not really sure what I'd pair with that. As we kind of continue through here, we can see um, some more interesting aesthetics, um, some cool paint and artwork. Um, modern aesthetics, again, I thought these were really interesting. Um, it reminds me of like a Bang & Olsen speaker for sure. As we kind of continue through here, um, we've got a modern outdoor setting, a lot of modern architecture here. I really love floor-to-ceiling glass windows. This is something I really enjoy. I love natural light and that's something that's really important to me. So um, really great there. Um, obviously, I have to give a shout out to this outdoors a picture here. She is not wearing a watch, but if I was to put a watch with this, it would have to be an Omega Seamaster. <laughs> um, as we kind of continue through here, beautiful views, blue oceans. Um, this, I would pick the deep sea with that blue dial, the one that Tiger Woods is seen wearing quite often. That's exactly what I would pair with, with that. Some more modern aesthetics. Uh, really interesting front porch here um, in S South Carolina. This is a very southern, southern look to a home, and so um, obviously um, with the pillars and this front porch, I'm not really sure what watch I put put um, on the owner of this home's wrist. Um, there aren't many watches that I look at and I'm like, okay, that's a southern looking watch. Um, maybe like a Lejeune chronograph or something like that, but uh, I'm not really sure. And you've got these really modern lights here, this purple and really um, kind of like muted colors. I don't really, uh, these are all probably LED lights. Um, and so honestly, if I was to put a watch, I would pick like a Swatch System 51 for these. Um, I do have one that's actually for sale, but it's black. But there's one um, Swatch System 51 that's in all white. And I think that would really go well with this kind of, these lights. Um, I can actually, show you guys the one that I have for sale. It's this one here. Um, this is the box that it comes on. This is the this is the watch here. Uh, this is actually completely new. It still has its stickers on it. You can see here, I haven't taken them off because I think the new owner is the one who should be able to do that. Um, and if you just get the movement going here, you can see that ticking away nicely. But yeah, completely new with stickers. This is not the one that I would pair with this. Um, with, with this uh, this setting, I'd probably go for something a little bit brighter um, than than uh, the one that we have. If we can kind of continue here, leopard prints. There, I would go with the Cartier on the back of the other episode that we. This is the other magazine that we did, but totally would wear this with this. I think that's exactly what you should wear. <laughs> um, as we kind of continue throughout here. I don't think I would really like that, but that's just my my taste. Um, this was a cool one because I think it had it kind of was it was combining a modern looking inside of the home with some treasures from from the past. Um, and I think this is in Paris, and I thought that was really cool. You know, you've got these really old um, bronze boxes, and these older chairs with kind of worn leather. Um, really, really beautiful, actually. But then you've got these very like modern inspired artwork. So it's kind of an interesting, interesting, um, interesting look. Neutral territory, do I have to say more? Definitely this one right here. I totally wear this Swatch System 51 with this room. Um, as we kind of continue, we get into the, this is the cover. Um, this, I would go with the chronograph. I'm not really sure which one though. Um, as we kind of continue throughout this, magazine we can see some more kind of um, pieces of furniture that you can you can look for this one right here i really love this and this actually reminded me of the watch that i'm wearing right now let me take it off my wrist so that you guys can see it this is an omega that um, we have on our store um, but this is an omega from the 70s and i really love this watch um, it has a little bit of age on the dial but i feel like it kind of goes with this aesthetic i also really love 
um, the the way the bracelet kind of feels on this, and this reminds me of like an Otomo Piki, um, but um, that's kind of what I would pair with uh, with this this room here. Uh, ready to relax? I think this is a a, a wash you can relax in. As we kind of continue, we've got some similar aesthetics that I've discussed previously. This really interesting Hall of Wonders um, that um, is located in, in Maine. And we continue through here, and we are at the end. So those are the watches that I would pair with the, the, the different places that you see in this magazine. I think home and design really gets you um, excited about creating a place that you're going to really enjoy. Um, and um, I hope this kind of gave you some cool ideas about watches that you could wear in them. Um, I'm going to take it back to the other perspective so we can close out the video. Cool, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there wasn't too many watches that you could look at, but I hope I kind of gave you some ideas if you are looking to get some watches that have these types of aesthetics in it. I think um, I brainstormed a couple that would, would go really well with these. The Departures Magazine in general has a very modern aesthetic, and so um, a lot of the watches that I spoke about are ones that have kind of a modern uh, feel to it. And so um, I really enjoyed kind of uh, brainstorming some of these watches. I know I mentioned this Omega that's available on our store, which actually goes with some of the color palettes of, of some of these rooms that they're coming out with. Um, so if you are interested in this watch, um, we have done a, a video where we actually cover this watch. So be sure to check that video out um, and then you can check it out in our store as well. And uh, with that said, guys, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are new to the channel. And please smash that like button for us for the YouTube algorithm. And with that said, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time.